from the thumbnail is, is you know what do you want and basically she was telling the mom if you watch sex and city this is charlotte telling her mom or her mother-in-law i'm worth a million because she she thought marriage was like purely you know you know, she never heard of a prenup. So, in this prenup, she was like saying like they was she was only worth ten thousand dollars if they was to get a divorce. But she's worth a million. She got her to negotiate and stuff. So, this is about to be get back out there, date online. My mom always saying your twenties just date because. A lot of people in their 20s don't know what they want. And then when people get in their 30s, they wish they did focus in their 20s and not party and not play with that one guy that was really serious about them or that one girl. Um, a lot of you are playing events in your mind. It, be, it could be because someone's telepath. I see one, two, three, my cards dropped. Someone's telepathically, um, you know, that you blocked is trying to, like, if you keep thinking about an ex that miss you and they pop out of your, or something reminds you of them, yeah. Like I said, reminiscing the camera, making memories, learning from the past. You could be getting a call from this person and right after this love message, it's a snake. Somebody that betrayed you, put a mask, probably didn't want to show their affection in front of their homeboys towards you. Or like, you know, if you was, if you a guy, you know, make it seem like she's still loyal on the outside, but then like she's deceptive and ungrateful for all the nice things you did. I feel like people be in competition with you and sometimes you look over your shoulder because you want to look around your surroundings too 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 as i said that um it's crazy so me i need to listen to your intuition especially if it's been going on and off for like four years six years i'll answer it for you that's a no i'm about to sneeze i don't even know why Yeah, this the bottom of the deck is like string you along this person just wants you for a one night stand like Brittany and we trust um, she's a Virgo and a happy healthy relationship she's a fiance she literally said that if somebody just cares about that and forcing like that person do not like you that person do not care about you it shouldn't be about that because whoever this past person is, this is a Mercury retrograde reading. But it's also showing me that you know your worth. This person makes you feel like crap. Self-sabotage, lack confidence, a lot of frustration. But a, heavy on the lack in confidence and like, maybe you still get your hair done and now you don't. Or you did and you, you helped this person invest in stuff. You could be a baby mama or an ex-girlfriend and even put your own hair just to make sure this person's car was fixed this car keep coming out this person's just gonna string you along key on ring is like maybe say i'm gonna get you a promise ring keep making false promises this is bad because this is there's more x cards here than i like to look at my tarot reading on how many bad cards so i count the numbers could be seeing six 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 it's time for change five 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 is change and you love i'm not seeing five i see six and we got one positive card what's the get back out there and date yeah when you get back out there you're gonna find out that there's sorry for the lighting um grounding stability somebody out there who's very caring who's ambitious like you because if you're a masculine man divine a masculine woman y'all don't be needing anybody financially you want someone that it's the little things you know being loyal kind you like going to movies food trucks some of y'all like to just smoke and talk 
To me, I like the fish. To me, I'm gonna make a plan to the islands. Yeah. Like, it's in. Y'all could have thought this was your twin flame. You could have thought this was your soulmate. You could have thought this was your. Maybe you even told this person. But y'all polar opposites. I mean, like, you care about your goals and you're orating you get it done. Like, you, if you say he's gonna make $500 a week, you literally prove it. This person says, it's like, this person don't know how to ask for help, the past person. And then you will help them. You know, you manage your credit wisely. This person is realizing to manage their credit wisely, too. But, like, say if you did fix their credit, like, once they got a high limit of 5000 they maxed it out in under a month or two. You know? Ooh, child. Please don't take this person back. Clarity and truth. Your new love is going to be unconditional and giving. And, like, nobody's going to know. Like, this song that I've been getting lately, Life Goes On... Like, I feel like this person only wants to be honor and protection. And, like, if they've been nice than usual, like, it's because, like, with that song, Life Goes On by Lil Baby, got me walking around on my tippy toes. Because it's something about it would be crazy if he let you go. Like, it was, like, because if he let you go, like, everybody's going to be on your body. Everybody's going to want you because... Be that rare girl. Some of y'all enjoying being happily single. I just seen that. It popped out twice. You know, no stress, no arguments, no one telling you they don't like your makeup that you paid for. If you're a guy, like, no worrying about, you know, spending out. Like, it's not like you hate dating. You just want to focus on your bag, get back to your stability, your security, and your performance. I feel like you really fell for this person and they really taught you to, like, Wait until you see someone true code, you know? We're gonna get into the tarot. That's when all the tea come out. Yeah, because you looked at this person like very codependent if you're a masculine or feminine on the reinsurance. And this person that act like they was nonchalant. Because emotional blockage is like someone being nonchalant. Obsessed with you but restricted. Like, oh yeah, you're wearing a pretty dress. They probably will call you a slut or a hoe and you was really trying to wear it to look good and they you know, if someone say that to you, they don't like you. I just want to let you know that. If someone gave you a backhand compliment, like, say if you thick. Because I hate the word F-A-T. And you a plus size, you know? And you got them cute ripped jeans and you looking good. And this person say a backhanded compliment to you. You better cut them off. This person could be also controlling. Where it's like... I feel like, because one of my homeboys told me that this person would go through their phone, and he didn't really like it, and there was nothing in their phone, but he never thought to go through her phone, and she was cheating the whole time. Yeah, speechless. I feel like it's fair, it's fair. If someone asks to go through your phone, they better be okay to go through your phone. And if they go to the bathroom, I don't even care if they really got a tinkle, and they take their phone with them, all right, be, be, be naive if you want to. Be naive, naive. I don't know, I'm trying to make a new word. <laughs> it's crazy. Some of y'all have, like, low faith on, like, someone being interested in you, wanting to date you, wanting a blooming romance. It's very low. Very low. And your angels are guiding you. You've been seeing 333 three, three to the right person. This is a mess. We got, like, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like, change your thinking, like... In this retrograde, they don't want you focusing on your energy or the past or it's a retrograde. Even though you know somebody's blocked and you know this person will call you from WhatsApp, hang out, you block them everywhere. Some of y'all even get unknown calls and y'all just block it. Once you hear the person's voice and you recognize who it is or it's silence, y'all just block. Because this person triggered you. Like, you're focused on your abundance. You have a positive mindset. Some of these people was like, succubus? They only liked you and used you for your energy because you have like a sexual healing energy and they like if you've been realizing your money been slowing down because since you slept with this person or you're feeling anxious it's because you exchange energy 
look more into soul ties i did post on my ayana the one page on tiktok on how exchange of sexual energy is very powerful if you even use it to manifest money but i'm just saying like some people if you ever feel drained 10 out of 10 somebody say for your energy okay yeah this person was fleeting y'all gonna be meeting somebody at your favorite coffee shop it don't have to be starbucks but somebody goes to like a mom and pop coffee shop a small business and they make the best coffee and you're gonna meet somebody nicely who's gonna want to talk yeah do you know what just popped out karmic relationship like i feel like this person had a phobia but i feel like they didn't want a relationship with you i'm gonna be honest because if somebody's saying they have a phobia of being in a relationship but then they don't want you to be single but they get to do whatever they want they don't have a phobia this person is like i said the control freak possessive and controlling like they don't want you happy even if you are unhappy they don't care they 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 happy for that you're a whole wife that's why they want you in the house if you're a man going through this like i feel this woman would even say like oh you put your hands on me like some of y'all need to record this person if you're going through this because i had a friend that went through this and he got viral on tiktok and we're still friends where this woman will put her hands on herself and then make it seem like he put her hands just because she was like one thing my homeboy said too another one he said um what you allow in the beginning will continue out in a relationship like if you see someone keep being slick at the mouth talking to you it's because they don't want you if you keep seeing somebody that you you like to get their hair done nails done and you set the standard and like you made it okay that you was gonna pay all the bills until you couldn't and now you're trying to tell this person your job and they don't want to do it it's because you set the standard that's why boundaries are important i'm not saying you deserve that because nobody deserves that like i'm talking about with a friend where you know i had a friend he's still my friend where he was telling me how he just wanted her to get a job to pay her phone bill I mean, she just didn't want to do it kind of also when he tell me details of it she was a little cocky and so because she know that she some girls be thinking because they good doing sexual things because that's what it is that they could get away with certain shit so some of y'all are working on yourself and some of y'all been going through some ups and downs and repairing it like you woman you compliment woman you just Debbie down there, but you learning like something about like going into this new year and it's a new moon 12 12 that it's like you're shedding that old skin like you going back to when you was confident you didn't care about nobody feeling good hair done staying away from people that has resentment triggers you um maybe even like some of y'all was in a relationship where this person knew that you had depression or anxiety and it's curable because i had to cure my own because i had people that would just spy on me and i thought it was cool I, I can't even feel no type of way if i don't want to share locations with friends that i used to be friends with because it's like i'm not comfortable with people being in my business because some people don't have a life okay and i'd rather keep my life private than somebody make it seem there's something wrong with you you know because some of y'all anxiety could come from like survivor mode where it's like you always have to take care of everything so it's like you put a lot of stress on yourself you don't go to work or you don't do get this done that you're lazy and it triggers you because somebody made you feel like something or nothing man or woman somebody's just very seductive don't fall for this stupid shit somebody who just want to hook up they probably would even be nice like buy you food pay your bills man or woman or like you know remind you of that old veronica or samantha and no don't fall for it this person is re probably really sorry i had a friend he was showing me the video of his, his ex-girlfriend crying but then she did something toxic and i knew she was faking like but he didn't believe me and then a month later she did something like where she would eat stuff that he bought and it was supposed to be shared and it just kept getting worse and it's what's crazy is he helped her get a place and it was under his name 
but then the next year he put it under her name where he messed up at and, and sometimes I don't know adulthood could be ghetto it's like, it's like piranhas out here if you don't stay on top of it it'll fall apart in a minute yeah you're avoiding this person this person's tricking you not today just came out that's like avoiding like I said, I don't trust this person. This ex got a poker face. They're not showing their hands. This person could be even watching from a fake page. I don't think I'm going to pull any tarot. This is what I got for Mercury Retrograde. And don't ever feel bad for saying that up for yourself or talking. Because sometimes narcissistic people, they will offend you and do stuff. And then they still need your energy and your presence. Because you they really know that you all go around. Like That's how some people is. Like I've been noticing that with friends, family exes they'll put you through tests like it's call it a ride or die but they stress you out just to see that you're a genuine person and some of y'all might care oh they have this going on they dealing with this mentally but if you see them being nice to other people and being cordial to other people and there's a problem with somebody like bro i remember respectful justin said like narcissistic people will treat their own people family friends like monsters and whole strangers like lovers like it's it's crazy some of y'all still upset some of y'all need to go to a rec room i was saying that on live go to a junkyard where you could like smash ask the person before you go on the premises that you could break the window and take take a bat and that saves more money than going to a rec room because they in the rec room is an hour for two people for a hundred you get to take all your anger out but you got new things coming. You have love coming. That's why you've been seeing 777. Some of y'all getting your hair done. Yeah, this person's going to get you the ring. The rock. Hold on. She's my rock. Uh, uh, that song is also good. And also this song I've been channeling from this Metro Retrograde. Not only life goes on. But Need Me by Rihanna and Love Yours. Like, I feel like whoever this person was, they didn't love theirs and what they had that like, you wanted more. And I feel like you was the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and you could have built. If this person, all they had to do was treat you nice. You know how much money you can make on couple vlogs and being happy, but you actually have to build the chemistry and have to really know this person. Heavy on light. Make sure you keep a mystery mouse tool on you and a mace and there's a tracking device and your front your family knows. Especially if you get like a good attention. Sometimes you men get a bad attention. It's like uh, men and women, you get good or bad attention. Cause meaning like sometimes people could be thinking you look good and your life is easy and or you got no kids and they give you the EY. But make sure you you got someone that knows your location and, and know who mess with you and type shit even send it to an email like i'm so smart if i got a picture of somebody that's a stalker that is in the family email and it got the address and everything you feel me make sure y'all report these people because a lot of people some of these people ain't gonna physically do something it's just they want to mentally hurt you and on top of that like, I even have a text message when someone treat you like, oh, I just miss you. I just wish we could hang out and talk. Like, no. No. Just how men like to say women are miserable without money, it's the same. Probably even worse. Women don't got their money. But I feel like it's not even about the money. It's really about how someone treats you. Because right after sunglass or someone stalking you, we got one-sided love bomber. Like, I don't know. This person heavy on this because it's been going on for a whole week. Because retrograde don't enter the first. Retrograde is about to be like a three-week process. Someone thought that you they could mistreat you. And you thought. They, they, they thought. That. And also your speech might mess up. During this retrograde. Don't take it personal. Like. That you was going to still like them. When they mistreated you. Talk to you. Call you out your name. Whatever goes on. Like. You're about to get this unconditional love. Self-love. You're about to have a life partner. A business partner. A soul contract new one the old one's ripped up is done you might meet them at a christmas party yeah you're having fun you're living in the moment 
living living in the now or living in the now could be significant but stillness is key there's nothing in the past for you but for this karmic if you're watching who did somebody wrong um it's time to heal and also like I, i'm looking at the car like hey like i feel like someone's gonna be like hey how you been like messaging you thinking of you yeah but heavy on this this is what you're gonna get you're gonna be engaged okay even if you're a mommy mommy sita you're gonna find your person it just takes time because it's like everybody when you get to a point when you work hard and you pay your bills it's like it would be nice to come home to someone you know, to talk to, you, to have fun with, to tell you, hey, let's go out and have fun, even though you want to stay in the house, you know, yeah, that's what I got for you, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, do know I would never reach out to you to a reading, and also, you could also follow me on, um, on, Instagram, I am the one, and TikTok. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you later.